Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce another Final Cut Pro X plugin, actually another generator called Arrows Plus Light. You can download this from www.40tv.com slash downloads. Once you've downloaded the plugin, you're going to want to navigate to your user's home directory. Inside the home directory, you'll open up the movies directory and you'll find motion templates. Inside there, you'll navigate to the generators uh, folder and you're going to go ahead and drag and drop the 40TV uh, folder inside of the generators folder. If you already have a 40TV folder in here because you've downloaded Ra Ratings Plus or another one of our generators, you're just going to drag the Arrows Plus Lite into the 40TV uh, folder. Once you've done that, the plugin should be installed. Go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro X. If you already had it open while you were installing the plugin, go ahead and close out of Final Cut Pro X and reopen it. Right now inside my timeline, I just have a solid white background. You can add a solid white background inside of your generators, go to solids. I selected custom, dragged it in, and changed it to white. Also here in our generators tab, you'll see Arrows Plus Light, the plugin we just installed. I'll go ahead and drag this onto our timeline. By default, the length of this plugin is five seconds long. Once I click on it, I can see the properties. I can switch between the different uh, arrows, uh, animated arrows, the first one being this one, the second one being this one, third one being this one. Uh, I can change the colors of the arrows through the color picker to any color I like. I can also increase and decrease the scale. This is also independent the X and Y are independent of each other for the scale. You can adjust that as well. You can modify its rotation. All these parameters could obviously be keyframed and animated. We can either enable or disable a uh, uh, drop shadow by clicking here. I can adjust the drop shadow angle right down here. I can adjust the distance of the drop shadow. I can blur out the drop shadow. Of course, disable it if I want. Guys, I hope you like the plugin. Uh, also, another quick note, let me scroll back to the beginning. As you can see, all these plugins are animated. Or not all these plugins, all the arrows are animated. Regardless of their rotation, their animation sh still should work just the same. If you need to increase or decrease the length of this uh, animation or this uh, photo, you can uh, elongate or shorten the generator. Right now, remember that the animation happens for basically 20% of the length of the clip. So if I shorten this clip from 5 seconds down to 2 seconds, the animation, instead of happening over a 1 second time frame, will happen 1 fifth of the 2 seconds. So I'll go ahead and play it very quickly, right? Stop somewhere around 11 frames. And of course, if I elongate the video, then that animation will take longer than one second. Um, if you want to hold this frame here, obviously you can create a still frame and then paste it uh, ongoing. So if your arrow is pointing towards text, towards something you're holding, towards yourself, etc., etc., you can create a freeze frame inside of Final Cut Pro and add that. Guys, I hope you like the plugin. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section on my YouTube channel. If you like the content, please like and subscribe to that channel. And again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Till next time, I'm out.